In today's video, we will show you something amazing when it comes to vertical farming system. If you are only familiar with the kind of food farming that is done on the field, that is really an old school method because what you are about to see in here is a kind of advanced farming system that is at another level. So get ready to see the rise of advanced vertical farming system you can't imagine. Hi, good day to everyone. This is Arthur and welcome back again to our channel. And if you are new here, click the subscribe button and get notified to keep you updated with our new videos. And so without further ado, let me take you to my number one. Number one is the rise of vertical farming in the city. Along with the reduction of agricultural land, which is caused by urbanization as well as population growth, the food of the future has faced significant challenges. Therefore, a variety of methods that can cultivate food more safely have garnered a lot of attention. Vertical farming enables the cultivation of crops all year round in the city, regardless of climate change, by controlling the light and temperature. Also, it has reduced possibilities of disease and insect pests, so it has emerged a new type of agriculture in urban areas. A vertical farm has recently been established at a subway station, which is a sunless place. It is a small farm which was built inside the subway station at an underused space as it has collaborated with an automated system which enables robots to take care of sowing and harvesting. It has captured a lot of attention in the market. Number two is Hong Kong's high-tech vertical farm of the future. Hong Kong company has developed a high-tech vertical vegetable farm that could help revive the city's fast-disappearing traditional agriculture. Farm 66 uses modern LED lights and aquaponics in a 20,000 square feet air-conditioned vertical farm. Sensors help control conditions to provide an ideal environment for the annual production of up to 150 tons of vegetables, which the company distributes to more than 100 supermarkets. Number three is the robotic vertical farming. A Utah tech company, Groove Technologies, is working with a local farm, Bateman and Moseta Farms, to produce food for their cows more efficiently. It starts with wheat seeds being loaded into trays. Then they're wheeled up to the top of the tower to start a six-day journey back down to the bottom of the tower for harvest. Along with the way, they're watered with precision and given light from special LEDs that don't give off any heat. The whole process is automated too, meaning it can run without the help of many traditional farmhands. Now they can rely on their own production of feed, and this model of farming could be adopted beyond farms in the future. Number 4 
growing hydroponic vegetables with new technology. A company based in northeast China's Liaoning has been growing hydroponic vegetables and fruits with new technology. The company now has 300 plus kinds of fruits and vegetables. Number 5 is a wind powered vertical farm. Inside a warehouse in an industrial zone in Copenhagen, vast stacks of plants soar almost to the ceiling. In time, this newly opened vertical farm will be the one of the largest in Europe, while power from Denmark's wind farms will ensure it is carbon neutral, according to the company behind it. Though they will never see daylight or soil, hundreds of tons of lettuce, herbs and kale will be harvested over the coming months from the vast farm run by Danish startup Nordic Harvest. Number 6 is Indoor Farming Technology Helps Crop Production in the Middle East Korea's indoor vertical farming is helping grow crops in the Middle East. The 12-meter long container is filled with the vertical racks of crops, including romaine lettuce. Named Planty Cube, the farm replaces conventional farming methods with digital technology. Natural sunlight is replaced with artificial lighting and water levels. Air temperatures and humidity can be adjusted with just a few clicks. Farms can also be monitored remotely from South Korea, even from a smartphone, and conditions can be adjusted to optimize plant growth. This way of farming can produce quality food all year round without being affected by the weather, natural disasters, or disease. And that's all there is to it for today. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.